<sighs> you know, <laughs> my mom would say that the funny thing about paying bills is that it's like the utility companies will give you a thank you card and say, do it again, dum dum. So people always are impressed with the things that I've done. I'm trying to impress myself with what's next. And what's next for me is what I call the expansive vision. I've, I've written 21 bestsellers, 20 have been consecutive number ones. I have gone all over the world. I speak on stages. I still love to do those things. I've gotten uh, myself in a position where I've amassed quite a few different companies and partnerships and those things are great. But what I really want to do is I want to take a thousand people to someplace they've never been to. And I'm talking about a real promised land, not something that somebody sits in a bully pulpit every day on Sunday and preaches to you about. I'm talking about the actual promised land, because here's the thing. There's a document that says that we are entitled to life, liberty and the pursuit of happiness. And I want all of us to get to happy. And you know what happens when you get to happy? You're not worried about your bills. So I want to take a thousand people and I want to, over the course of the next 10 years, turn them into multimillionaires. I've done it several times before, but I want to take a thousand people who really have a dream, who have a vision. And it may not be perfect. It may not be exactly what it could be, but I'm going to help them make sure it's what it should be. The thing of it is, People have an idea, but they don't know what to do with it. And they start holding on to it and they try to protect it so tight and they take it and, and it's burning a hole in their hands like a, a hot coal, but they don't want to let it go because they've heard that pressure makes diamonds. But yeah, you're burning through your hand. Everybody needs help. And if you think I'm lying, let's put let's take religion out of it. Superman can do everything. Why is there a Justice League? That's it. Jesus could do everything. Why did he have 12 disciples? He had 12 best friends, three close, one best. Even after he ascended, he still went and got Saul of Tarsus because he needed somebody who understood the law. Everybody does not need to be perfect. But if you find the people who are brilliant at what you're not brilliant at, then you have perfection. And so that idea that you're holding on to becomes that diamond. If it doesn't become a diamond, it becomes a hot coal that you could put in a barbecue, cook something and eat it. That's what I want to get to. A thousand multimillionaires focusing on their dreams, not an MLM, not some fly by night, not some affiliate marketing, not that the thing that gets them up in the morning and inspires generations. My favorite quote from Tupac, he says, I might not be the thing that changes the world, but I'm going to spark the mind of the person who does. Imagine if you spark not only their minds, but their money. What good could we do in the world? Who could we help? Who could we feed? How many kids could we put through schools? How many businesses could we start? How many communities could we change? So that's what's next for me. And I might be crazy. I might fall short, but falling short of a thousand millionaires, even if I hit 500, I'm a hall of famer. That's it. And so for me, that that's the end all be all. It's not about me. It's about legacy. I'm fighting for my last name. I'm fighting for our dreams because so many times we get the dreams kicked out of us. Stand up, sit down, raise your hand, ask for a hall pass. Everywhere you go, somebody's kicking, you know, kicking the, 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 the Trisket crackers out your, out your hand. I want us to have steak and lobster. I want us to be able to shoot for the moon, get the stars and the rocket ships. Because I think we can. And I think with, with structure and fundamentals and all the unsexy stuff they don't show you on social media, we can get there. So that's what's next for me. Aside from speaking engagements and coaching people and writing more books, that's the thing that's next for me for the next 10 years. That's what I'm on.